I'm Patrick Callahan, so let's get started. All right, it's Ireland. It's the early 1700s. The country's plagued by famine, poverty, overpopulation. They're struggling for solutions to these problems. So a uh, pamphlet was made, and it had a rather long title, which is coming. A modest proposal for the preventing of the children of poor people from being a burden to their parents or their country and making them beneficial for the public. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the title. So, uh, Jonathan Swift was the author, and so what was his uh, modest proposal? Eat the babies. <laughs> yeah, you don't see that in many math talks, do you? Um, overpopulation and family. Think, it's a win-win. Too many people, not enough food. It's a win-win. So, uh, move forward 280 years. Uh, California, there's no potato famine, but um, students are failing algebra in shocking numbers. And despite what the state board suggests, uh, infanticide and cannibalism just are no longer viable <laughs> options. So more and more students are taking algebra. In fact, if you look at the top of the graph, those are the eighth grade students and the ninth grade students, and the same number of 10th and 11th grade still are taking that. Think about what that means. Um, okay, but does it matter? Does it help? Well, sure, 1.8 times as many of the good students are getting better, and 1.5 times as many of the low performing students are getting worse, and 1.7 times as many people don't know what that data means. <laughs> But I'll make it simple for you. The more students to take algebra, the more students that fail algebra. In fact, about three in four students fail algebra in California on the CST. It seems like the more we teach, the more we fail. A modest proposal. <laughs> teach less algebra. But why do we teach algebra? Why is it important to teach algebra? Why is it important to learn algebra? Well, the CD has a pamphlet called Why is it important to learn algebra? <laughs> they must learn algebra to earn a high school diploma and they must pass the exam to graduate. That's not a reason to learn algebra, that's a threat. <laughs> so, why is it important to do it earlier? Well, according to this pamphlet, moving from arithmetic to algebra is one of the toughest transitions students have to make. That's why it's important to put it earlier. Well, you know, you know what else is a tough transition? Start getting a job, having a family. Why don't we put that in sixth grade? I mean, so, so algebra, I mean, why algebra? It's to teach people to think logically. But, you know, Abraham Lincoln said he had the same thing and the others, but it wasn't algebra, it was geometry. So teach less algebra, teach more geometry. So let's step back for a second. No, don't clap or laugh, it gets me off time. So uh, <laughs> let's look at the traditional school algebra. Where, what do we do? It's we prepare students to take algebra, then they take algebra, then they fail it, and then they retake algebra. All that effort can be summarized in two rules. Step one, take the numbers from the problem, Step two, apply some random operation. Let's try it. This is from the CASI. This is the, an actual item. So it's a shoe box with items. So grab the three numbers, do a random operation. You either add or multiply, there's three numbers. So it's a 50-50 chance of getting it right. 55% of the students got it right. So do you see the brand of the shoe? Wait, where's my pointer? Look at this, seriously, this is the real diagram from the actual test that students took. Here's your algebra shoe, I mean, welcome to hell, students. I mean, if you didn't have test anxiety before you got there, it's like, algebra shoes? Ah! And so, uh, that, that's real. Um, here's, another, here's another example. Cereal box, they want to make it twice as, uh, hold twice as much volume, so you double the height, double the length and width. That's a good geometry problem. Um, so, all right. Notice there's no numbers in it, so they can't apply my two-step rule. Well, but look, 10% of students got this right. And, I mean, they give the formula, nice, thanks, there's no numbers. Um, and secondly, uh, if you actually visualize this, this is like the worst cereal box ever. I mean, that thing is going to fall. Um, so here's a NAEP item, and 1% of students got this right. And if you look at this, this is just a simple geometric dilation. But they did it by setting up a proportion and screwing up the algebra. They tried to algebraize it. So teach less algebra is my modest proposal. Teach more geometry. And to make it interesting, I'll make a wager. I bet if you spent one day a week on geometry, test scores would go up, 
even in algebra. Thank you. <laughs>